that didn't work out. All right, guys, this is Matt Hall with Simple Copter. Uh, recently, we received this new KK2 board. Pretty good looking board. I like the case. I like it. it looks really nice uh, compared to the old plastic one we had before. Um, there's a couple things that are a little different on this board. Uh, nothing as far as functionality goes. But uh, they send you a set of wires with uh, the board. And it basically consists of a buzzer, which we know what that is. So I'm going to toss that in a second. Uh, two standard three pin wires and this funky wire here. That's standard three pin and it has uh, three individual uh, plugs on the other side. So, um, in general, what has changed is this very first slot, which used to be the aileron slot, is now an S-Bus slot. Um, I don't know a lot about the S-Bus. Um, I also know it has the uh, DSM, DSM-X2 slot inside of it. Don't know much, much about that either. Uh, I know it's a little cleaner install, but uh, Stevis made a statement that uh, the guy who does the software on these things, that the five wire is still the most stable and glitch-free uh, setup. So, I'm sticking with that until I figure out more about the other stuff. So about how to hook this board up. Again, we're gonna skip this very first pin. So if you're doing it the old five wire way, you just buy the five wires and you go that way, you just, that's it. You skip this top pin and you start one pin down with the aileron, elevator, throttle, rotor, and auxiliary, and you're done. But if you wanna use this new wire setup, which is a little bit cleaner, a little bit lighter, and a little cheaper, because you ain't gonna buy the other five wires. <laughs> so, um, you know, it kills my profit, but that's okay. Um, uh, the way we do it is, you're basically on this three-wire doohickey, you're, you're just going to turn it sideways into your receiver. So let's just pretend like we're hooking this thing up right now. You'll have to forgive me, I'm actually laying on my stomach on the concrete floor. So, uh, you know, I might start freaking out either way. Um, so, the first slot is throttle. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's a cat walking on me. Um, Okay, for the, so the first rot, uh, wire is, is your uh, throttle wire, and that's going to plug in to your throttle, which is one, two, three, four down, one, two, three, four. So we're going to plug that in with the um, your signal wire to the inside, the light colored wire to the inside. So right now we got that. So what we're going to hit is the three wire, not the three individuals, but the three wires, we're going to bridge sideways onto the signal wires of the receiver such as that so basically you're going to get your power your negative your positive is going to come off of your uh, throttle channel so excuse me um so this first wire is throttle second wire is aileron so you're going to go okay light orange wire is aileron you're looking at a little chart you're going to know that goes in the second slot down and plug that in and then your third one is your elevator, and that's red. So we're going to pull the red one, and we're going to go to elevator, which is the third one, or fourth, well, third one down. I'm going to get my bald head in this picture. And I'm screwing all this paper up too, but yeah. stay. All right, and the fourth wire, this uh, brown wire, is your rudder. So you take your rudder, you here, your rudder is the second to the bottom. We're going to plug that sucker into the rudder. That's not in the rudder. That's in the rudder. And then this, this uh, last three pin wire, we're going to go to your, um, to your last slot, which is your auxiliary, which turns on your auto level. We're going to plug that in. We're going to the very last slot on this. Well, not last slot, but the gear slot, which is a fifth pin. And do it that way. So, as you can see, we've kind of bridged those wires together. So it gives you this three wires instead of five wires going to the, the receiver. So in a, a hobby, ugh, hobby king receiver, basically, uh, here we go, here it is. So you want to look at the side of the receiver, the top receiver, wherever it takes, and you're going to find something that says S. And on this case, it's on the very bottom. This thing says S. I don't know if you can see it. I zoom in, but I have to get my fat butt off the ground. I don't want to do that. So you look for that little S, and that is your positive. That's your, your plus. So your uh, throttle wire, we'll start with that, would go to the bottom of this one with the signal wire. So you look in your board, it says uh, throttle over here. So that goes to the bottom. And then we would plug this wire into the bottom of this one across those three wires. It'll fit. Okay. 
And then you follow them just the same. So the orange one would be the second one would be the uh, aileron and elevator and rudder, which are already hooked up, so on and so forth. And then this would obviously go in to here onto the gear channel. Is that right? Yeah, gear. So, and that's how it would be done on this particular Hobby King. Now, I think the other, a uh, little bit cheaper Hobby King ones, the signals on the top. But just look for that S, and that's your signal wire, and that means the light wire. So, you got that going for you. The pisser on this board is the, uh, if you ever want to flash it, you got to take it out of the damn uh, case to flash it because this square is not big enough to get your flash plug into. Uh, other good news about this board is that the screen, unlike the Hobby King screen, uh, doesn't flop loose on it when you take it out of the board, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, if you do have a Hobby King board and it's flopping loose, you can take a little bit of hot glue and just hit the corners of the uh, screen and kind of knock it down. So, um, you obviously your buzzer, and be careful guys, on the buzzer it's got a plus negative sign on it. Buzzer's not a big deal, and uh, the last pat tap is for your uh, power to let the board know the pat charge. Uh, it's not necessary, you don't have to have it, but if you want to use it, you just wire that in like we do in the videos. And make sure you get that right too, because it can really screw up your day. Um, these boards are supposed to have a protection circuit in, and if you do plug them backwards, it's not going to go blow blow up and, and shoot smoke out. But personally, I've never tried it, so it's up to you if you want to be adventurous and possibly lose 25 bucks, give it a shot. But um, so hopefully this is uh, this covers you know how to hook this this uh, new wiring setup up. You get a lot of emails about it the last couple of weeks because I was too lazy to post this video before. So um, hopefully that'll cover everything you need. The programming is all the same. Uh, it does the this has a Stevis 1.19, which is the newest software, and it's got some other stuff in it you can ignore or you can play with it if you want, like bubble level and stuff like that. It's got some weird stuff in it, but just kind of uh, if you're watching my video, kind of bypass those screens and go to the ones that that we talked about in the video to set it up with. So uh, that's it. I'm going to throw a little bit um, uh, little footage on some stuff I just shot recently. Uh, also, I know you guys are waiting for the NAS32 board stuff to come out. Uh, I promise I'm doing a video on that, but the um, Buddy RC is currently out of them, and there's so many variants of NAS32 that um, I I'm not sure how it's going to transfer over. I'm trying to make a simple process. If you want to go NAS32, if you're advanced and you're flying enough to appreciate, you know, the what that will do for you. Okay, here's a cat. Great. Go away. Yeah, shut up. Um, so if you're into the Nase 32 at some point, um, I'm going to try to make a simple crossover for that video. Um, and, uh, yeah, you too. And so um, that's about it. So I'm going to throw a little bit of, of footage that I shot at the beach on here just to make, make this a fun video. And uh, that's that. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Please. Action.